We're here now with Donald Trump's campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway. Thank you for coming in again uh, this morning. Let's start out with picking up on what Hillary Clinton was doing there from the stump. Democrats have also putting out uh, videos and ads saying that uh, Mike Pence missed an opportunity to defend Donald Trump on Tuesday night. We totally disagree. I understand why they're desperate to clean up Tim Kaine's performance. He interrupted 72 times when he wasn't interrupting the female moderator. He was just ignoring her, pleading with him to stop and answer the question. We're really happy with uh, Governor Pence's performance. It was spectacular and it, and it stuck to substance. And the idea, the fact that he's on the ticket very proudly tells you all you need to know about how he feels about Donald on Trump. On the substance, he did expose some differences between Donald Trump and, and Mike Pence, especially on the issue of Syria. Many, many times Mr. Trump has said we shouldn't be taking sides in that fight. But Mike Pence on Tuesday night said we should be preparing to take military action against the Assad regime. Does Donald Trump agree with that now? What Donald Trump and Mike Pence agree on, George, is that uh, the Russia reset that Hillary Clinton proudly tried to own has been a complete disaster. These fake and feigned red lines were not real. And what do we have now? We have a full-blown humanitarian crisis. So take military action Syria. against Assad? It, we don't know. When they're, when they're president and vice president, we'll see. But what we know is that we want to deal with, we want to join with allies in in the region for help. But this is a humanitarian crisis. It's heartbreaking to everyone, George. It's a nonpartisan issue to read those stories every single day of families being torn apart and people being murdered. Uh, I know you're pleased with Mike Pence's performance on Tuesday night. A lot of reviews from Mr. Trump coming out of his debate. Not so good. The polls have fallen since then. There's something in the Wall Street Journal this morning. It said that uh, Mr. Trump equivocated on his uh, belief that he won that debate when he reviewed the videotapes. What did he learn from those tapes? We learned from those tapes that he was trying to answer the questions as they were asked. And Mrs. Clinton was there really trying to get out those five or six zingers that she had rehearsed uh, a number of days. And so this time, I think that Donald Trump in a town hall format, it's one that, in which he's very comfortable. You've seen him because ABC has covered some of his town hall formats. He enjoys sitting there one-on-one. -on -one. He enjoys engaging with the audience. He's the one out there at these rallies and smaller settings every single day. He just had a West Coast tour where basically there were were more people outside trying to get in than inside practically. Thousands and thousands of people there to hear his message. So it's a comfortable format and I think Donald Trump got no credit for being gracious to Secretary Clinton, asking her should I call you Secretary Clinton when he was calling, she was calling him Donald. At the end pulling his punches about uh, Bill Clinton and the women and the way Hillary Clinton treated those women, blaming and shaming them in the 1990s when it was revealed her husband was having those affairs. He got no credit for being gracious and restrained. But uh, I thought he made a, a lot of great points in that debate. He talked Talked about the differences on trade and immigration, and that they that Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump had Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama created the vacuum in which ISIS. But he does was need a win Sunday night, doesn't he? Uh, he's, he needs a win on November 8th, and we're headed that way. For all the talk about Hillary Clinton surging in the polls, she's not at 50 percent and staying anywhere in these states. Why is that for somebody who's spending tens of millions of dollars in negative ads against us? I think people are rejecting the negative campaign. Kellyanne Conway, thanks very much. Next presidential debate Sunday night right here on ABC. Our Martha Raddatz co-moderating with Anderson, Anderson Cooper of CNN, and I'll be anchoring our live coverage with our whole political team starting at 9 Eastern.